my body handles a lot more chemicals. You know, I can handle some a lot of things. All but overall, we are both in our sixties. We are both doing things that most people tell us half the time. I, I just wouldn't do that if I were you. I would not be doing gardens. I would not be doing the canning. I would not be cooking from scratch. Why don't you just run downtown and grab a burger? You know, things like that. But our health is more important to us. And we feel like at this time of life, we want to live a simple life and we don't want to be in doctor's offices. Neither one of us are on medications. We live very simply. We're not taking a whole bunch of supplements or anything. Our food is our medicine. Mm. Danny drinks nothing but water. I drink water and coffee. We have our own fruit juices from our own, like like I said, the citrus. Last year, we took all of our oranges, satsumas, and tangerines and turned them into juice. And I bought little juice bottles off Amazon and I froze the juice. We are still now drinking orange juice that we put up last winter. We also do that with the scuppernongs and the muscadines that we have here. We turned it into grape juice and we have a supply of little bottles in our freezer of grape juice. We take one out and we have our own grape juice and we have our own orange juice. So we, like I said, we don't go to a grocery store very often and buy anything like that. Nothing uh, that we can do our own self. We grind our own grits and cornmeal, and we had a, I think it's called a uh, steel mill. And recently, we just got a stone ground mill. So we're anxious to start in a couple of weeks grinding our own cornmeal from corn we grew and our own grits. And our sugar cane that we grow is almost ready to make syrup. So every year we make sugar cane syrup and we make enough for way more than we need, and we supply friends and family and things like that with sugar cane syrup. Mm, okay. Interesting. So is sugar cane pretty hard to grow, or is it easy to grow? Is it very abundant, the syrup that you get? Sugar cane is one of the easier crops. Danny has always had a meal for, I don't know, 30, 40 years. So it got broken after Katrina, which would be Hurricane Katrina. And that was in 2005, I believe. And when he and I got married, it was still had not been fixed. That was in 2013. And he and a helper that uh, came to help on the farm one day, they put it back together, fixed it. And we've been making syrup for about six years now. And he kept his cane going in the field. And three years ago, I found a way online where you plant in wagon wheels. And so I showed him, I said, look, in this country, they're planting in wagon wheels. They take the cane and they make it look like a wagon spoke, you know, how the old fashioned wagons look. And we tried it that year. And that is the most beautiful cane ever growing in wagon wheels. You can mow around it. You can get to it. And it is easy to cut down. We do everything ourselves. You don't have to do anything other than fertilize it a couple of times during the summer. And the sugar cane is it just grows as long as it's getting a little bit of water. Uh, right. This year was a little more difficult because it was a drought year for us, but uh, we planted it close to our pond. But in the extreme drought that we've had over the last 12 months, our ponds are down, but it kept our sugar cane alive because the roots can go deep enough to get water. And we chop it down and we have the mill. We use the tractor or the lawnmower to pull the pole around. And we squeeze all the juice out. Then Danny sits here all day and cooks the syrup. And usually a hundred stalks will give you 10 gallons of juice. And when it's cooked down all day long, I mean, you can't leave it. It'll burn. But you sit there all day cooking it down. And when it gets through, you have about a gallon of sugarcane syrup. Oh, wow. How far will a gallon take you? Like, can you dilute it? Probably incredibly concentrated and strong so like how, how long will a gallon last let's say if you want to put flavoring in things well danny eats it just as it is on uh his oatmeal and i like it on pancakes or biscuits or something like that but it we don't cook it so thick a lot of people cook it really really thick like molasses we kind of leave it a little bit thin more like a pancake syrup mm. so that it pours easily the taste is unique. It is not like maple syrup. Um, maple syrup is probably one of my favorites, but we can't grow maples here. So right. Alan would last us probably, that's almost a year's worth for us because we put it in pint. 
And so Danny uses about a pint a month. So a gallon would be close to, say, most of the year, at least nine months. And we usually do about five cookings a year. Some years we've done two and three. But on our biggest years, we've done five cooking, and that was way more than we needed for three or four years. Hmm. Okay. Why, how come you can't grow maples to make maple syrup? Uh, it's too hot. We have maple trees here, but uh, you have to be up north to be able to tap the maple and make maple syrup. So down hmm. south, okay. it's sugar cane. 